tips to reduce aerosol generation in manual small incision cataract surgery. Aerosol generating procedures are of concern nowadays due to potential of COVID-19 transmission. Manual small incision cataract surgery is still one of the most common cataract surgeries being done in the developing world. Though the risk of transmission by aerosol during manual SICS is uncertain, it is better to be safe than sorry. So, here we present a video of the steps of manual small incision cataract surgery which have the potential of aerosol generation and a few tips to reduce the same. Some of the experiments demonstrated in this video are done in our wet lab with slow motion video imaging technique to capture the aerosol. Does jetting saline over the cornea generate aerosol? As you can see, jetting of saline with a cannula to wet the cornea generates significant aerosols. Aerosol generation is more with turbulent flow and irregular surface. Gently flushing over the cornea without the cannula reduces aerosolization. Also, a sponge can be used to mop any blood at the incision site. Will the spraying of saline from the irrigating vectors generate aerosol? Spraying saline over cornea to check the patency of vectors generates aerosol. So, check the patency of irrigating vectors directly into the drainage bag gently rather than onto the cornea. Does the use of Simcoe cannula generate aerosol? When the irrigation from Simcoe cannula hits uneven surfaces, especially after the conjunctiva is dissected and tunnel fashioned, can generate aerosols. Enter the viscoelastic filled eye with the irrigation closed and open the irrigation only after entering the anterior chamber. Also, turn off the irrigation in the Simco before exiting the anterior chamber. Are aerosols created while flushing out the Simco cannula? The video clearly demonstrates aerosolization while flushing out the fluid through a Simco cannula. If we try to empty the aspirated content by flushing, it generates significant aerosol on touching any surface. If cortex blocks the Simcoe cannula, we should flush it inside the anterior chamber only. Once the syringe gets filled, we should detach the cannula and gently flush out the aspirated fluid directly from the syringe into the drainage bag. Will hydrating the side port cause aerosol generation? Yes. As you can see, aerosols are generated while hydrating the side port. We can avoid it by using viscoelastics over the wound area. To inject fluid for hydration only after correct positioning of the cannula and to stop the hydration before bringing the cannula out. So, to summarize, here are the 5 practical tips to reduce aerosolization during manual small incision cataract surgery in the COVID-19 period. Gently flush over the cornea without the cannula for wetting it. Check the patency of the irrigating vectors directly into the drainage bag. Open the irrigation of Simco cannula only after entering the anterior chamber and turn off the irrigation before exiting the anterior chamber. Detach the Simco cannula and gently flush out the aspirated fluid directly into the drainage bag. Use viscoelastics over the side port before hydration and to stop the hydration before bringing the cannula out. Hope all of us practice all these precautions and stay safe. Thank you.